Hi, Mr. Hill. This video is for you. Hopefully, everything is going well. And I know you recognize this equation. Before I work this out, I just want to say that thank you so much for all the teaching and thank you so much for believing me throughout these years. And I hope you enjoyed my video for the solutions right here. So let's look at this equation. We see nothing but twos and eight. That's amazing. At the end, you will see what's even more amazing. How can we solve a rational equation and find the lowest common denominator multiplied by every term, right? We need to put a big parentheses. We see this two and that two in common. Put it down right here. We have this x but multiplied by x. x minus two. Put that down right here. x plus two. x minus four right multiply it by that as well. When we do this times that, I will put down x plus eight. The two will cancel. This x will stay. The x minus two will cancel. x plus two will also cancel. It's minus four at the end. To multiply each every term out, x times x minus 4 we get x squared minus 4x. 3 term times 2 term, just use the box method on this on the top. And let me put this on the side right here. This is going to be x squared times x squared, and this times that, this times that, x squared times this, this times that, this times that is negative 32x. Fun, huh? We see we have the x to the fourth power by itself, so let me just write it down. And we have the negative 2x to the third power, positive 4x to the third power, plus 2x to the third power. And then this is the only x squared term that we have. This is the only x term that we have, and this is the only constant term. This is equal to... Now we are going to move everything from the right hand side to the left hand side. Let's just add the x to the fourth power. We're going to minus 2x to the third power, subtract 16x squared. We are going to add 32x. Let me just draw this. 2x to the fourth power, we will have negative 40x squared. And we bring this down, plus 1 plus 8. Oh, this is equal to 0. On the left hand side, we just have three terms, right? Can we factor this out? First, let me factor out the 2 right here. This is actually quadratic in terms of x squared. I can factor this out as x squared times x squared. What times 4 will give me positive 64? And together, it's going to add up to negative 20, negative 16, and negative 4. It works. You care about this and you care about that, you should be able to solve this equation. It seems like we have four answers. However, let me tell you, three of them are wrong. Only one of them is correct. Only one of them is correct. This is why this video is called the three pretenders. If you plug in four, you will get four minus four, which is zero, a zero in the denominator. This is no good. If you plug in two, two minus two, you have zero in the denominator altogether. This is also not correct. Likewise, let's get rid of this as well. The only answer, x is equal to negative 4. You see how amazing this is. First of all, you see the equation. You see nothing but just 2s and 8s. And at the end, you have four answers. Three of them are fake. Only one of them is correct. And you see, this is not about how you solve the equation. It's about how you come up with such an equation that has such a beauty behind it. I admire you, Mr. Hill. This question right here is one of the questions that I am amazed the most. And I was really fortunate to have you as one of my teachers back in high school. Without you, I may not be a teacher right now.